Hi everyone, so I've received a few questions in the last few days about the index account. Now the index account, as I put below in the more detailed article in the description, is a very simple internationally um, you know, relevant account which is available for everybody apart from those who are actually living in the United States. In other words, it is available to American expats, but indeed is available in every country around the world apart from those living in America. It's very simple, uh, works out at about 1% per year in terms of fees, it's globally aligned, and uh, all the assets are linked to your age. So if you're younger, of course, that will mean your asset class is a bit different to if you're a bit older, and so on and so forth. So it works in a very simple way. Most of my clients will pay by direct debit, like credit card or debit card. And it's very interesting because um, I was gonna do a video as well, and I think I might do this in about uh, a week or two, where I talk about what are the biggest indicators of wealth. And the funny thing is, the biggest indicators of wealth often aren't things like income or even investment returns, although investment returns are very relevant, but actually how much you save and invest is actually the single biggest indicator of wealth. In other words, if you save and invest $2,000 a month, let's say you're on a good salary, and you only get 5% uh, per year, but then somebody else on the same salary is saving and investing $500 a month, but is getting 8% per year, person A is going to actually be much wealthier than person B, even though person B is getting higher investment returns. Now that doesn't mean returns are not important, right? Ideally, you want to get uh, eight or nine percent or whatever and invest a higher amount. But the point is a lot of people overcomplicate the, the process of investing when really the most important things about investing are things like how much you save and invest, how self-disciplined you are, how long-term you are. But one of the easiest tricks you can do is if you're outsourcing the process to someone like me, something like a direct debit linked to your investment account after you're paid is dramatically more likely to make you long term because think about it it's the path of least resistance right in the same way that we use amazon or apple because it's the easy thing to do if you've got a direct debit linked to your investment account you're much less likely to stop paying in because you'll have to go to your internet bank and you have to go for a lot of hassle to actually stop that payment whereas people who often just send lump sums they actually have to be very self-disciplined. So one of my tips would be simplify the process as much as possible and using direct debits, which are linked to the investment account and come out 24 hours after you're paid, will also stop you from overspending. Okay, everyone, I hope that was useful and look forward to answering any of your questions.